We arrived in the Wild West, looking for my ancestor, Tennessee Kid Cooper, a legendary outlaw whose bank robberies were some of the most daring in Cooper lore. When we arrived, it took some time to locate him, but we eventually found him in prison. His arrest was the handiwork of the local sheriff, who had celebrated by posting his own picture all over town. Talk about an ego. We needed to bust Tennessee out of jail. But after some furious calculations, Bentley determined that the best way to do that was from the inside. For the first time in my career, I was going to have to let the law catch me. This could be a real challenge. Hi! They're already rigging a noose for Tennessee, so we don't have time for a complicated plan. All my data points to one thing. The quickest route inside that prison is to get yourself arrested. Get myself arrested? I trust you, Bentley, but... I'm not sure about getting locked up in this town. Sorry, Sly. It's the only way we're gonna reach Tennessee in time. There's just one problem. They're holding Kid Cooper in the maximum security wing. To get yourself thrown in there, you're gonna have to gain outlaw status. So you need to make sure you build a rep before they catch you. Otherwise, they'll throw you in with the common criminals. Ugh, you mean like jaywalkers and litterbugs? Not gonna happen. Well, around these parts, is probably more like goat thieves and tobacco spinners. But you get the point. For starters, why don't you try defacing all those posters of the sheriff around town? That ought to put a burr under his saddle. Get it? Because we're in the Old West? Well, anyway, I'll just let you get started. Find a poster, make it look goofy, and move on. Just like junior high. I'd buy that one. Not for sale. It's Puny Greenhorn.
Wow. I bet the original artist damaged his vision staring at this guy. Oh, he's going to hate that one. Let's hope so. I call it counterfeit courage. <laughs> If I was as homely as this guy, I would not hang my picture everywhere. You're out of tears, Sly! I wish I could tear them down. Here's Weakling of the West! I think Vane begins to describe this guy. Looking good, Fly! It's an improvement. I'll name this one the Homely Buckaroo. <clears throat> The sheriff puts up posters of himself. Wow, Sly! You made him look even worse! I love a challenge. I call it Ten Star Loser. <laughs> This guy's a real egomaniac. I think you just achieved troublemaker status, Sly. <laughs> oh, now this really just my hide! I'm going to find this artist and bust his thumbs! And maybe his pinky. <laughs> We definitely 
they got under his skin, Sly. You ready for phase two? Absolutely. Apparently, the sheriff also loves lollipops, but his favorite is a particular Cuban variety, which has to be shipped in specially. Supposedly, they taste like rice and beans. Ugh, gross. Agreed. But if we clean him out, he'll have to wait weeks for the next shipment, and that should really tick him off. You'll be locked up in no time! You know, you're a little too excited about sending me to the Slammer, Bentley. It's all about the job, Sly. Speaking of which, in case you hadn't noticed, this Sheriff Toothpick is his own biggest fan. In fact, it looks like he's throwing himself a festival, and it's in full swing. If you take that banner down, I'm sure it'll be the final straw. Right. Let's go rain on this guy's parade. Okay, I just need to get up to that banner. All the things to get busted for. I can't believe it's banner dumping. Okay, there's the banner. I just need to knock those clothespins off. Hold your fires, boys! God damn, is this scream lolly demon outlaw I've been looking for? Uh. Ah, well, amigo. You just booked yourself a permanent room in this stony Thank <laughs> you. 
Looks like it's up to me to recon the area. I need to get some shots of that prison, but I better keep a low profile. I don't want to alert the guards. Tennessee Kid Cooper are in that high tower. Interesting side. Let me get a shot. Ah, unless I was mistaken, that is definitely a munitions dump. Very handy. <laughs> some structural weakness along the rear wall.
Um, howdy. Howdy yourself. Looks like you must have ticked old toothpick off pretty good. I like that. You got a name? It's Sly. Sly Cooper. Now, son, you should know I don't take kindly to folks funnin' on my family name. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I swear, I'm not joking. I can explain. Talk ain't worth spit, boy. Only one way to prove you're a Cooper. Bust us out of here! Right. My friend Bentley's working on that. I hope. Fly, press the square button to swing that ball. You fly, you need to make your way to the bottom of the tower. Fly, here's your chance. Use the ball to break down that door and bust Tennessee out. Okay, kids, stand clear. All right, I guess break time is over. You can probably move that container if you hit it hard. <laughs> Why am I the only one with a ball and chain here? Listen, friend, you're planning on hanging me tomorrow. You want to play? with a ball and chain here? Listen, friend, they're planning on hanging me tomorrow. You want to try? Oh, you 
lucky dogs. It probably don't need saying that anybody dying during the contest ain't getting paid. So, just be smart. Don't get yourself killed and everybody's going to have a great time. trade. trade. Naturally. Thanks, Bentley. Son, who is it you keep talking to? Uh, I have a thing in my ear that lets me talk to my friend. And now he's telling me you need to carry some of that TNT so we can blow the gate. Sure. I got voices in my head telling me to blow things up, too. Eh, they've been right so far. Let's get to it. <laughs> wait by the door while you work this one out. Perfectly. I need that gold transport built. 
And I don't need no hitch in the plan. Maybe we should then rethink this TNT idea. Cooper's neck. We'll track down the rest of that, that, that flea bitten gang. I'd like to make it through this in one piece, if you don't mind. Well, looks like we can mosey along now. Nice job, Sly! Goose ain't cooked yet. Time is over. Somebody supplying toothpick with new technology! 
That is a face car for race lie. What touch means instant death. Switch it to your jailbird costume and try using that ball in a different way. Press the R2 button to get on top of it. You should be able to ride it around using the left stick. I think I'll set a spell and rest my dynamite. That did the trick! Let's keep moving along! Fly, it appears that archway in front of the door is some kind of locking mechanism. And that block is the key. Now you just need to figure out how to get it in there. So, tell me about Sheriff Toothpick. Toothpick?! That shady son of a gun is crookeder than a sack of corn screws. Plus, he framed me for that bank job and took the gold himself. I just know it.
be glad I'm carrying the TNT. <laughs> the dynamite well let's get going I ain't getting any younger on you. Thanks, but Tennessee, we need to go. You ready? Well, uh, not really. Whoa! Somehow, we had managed to survive and make it back to the hideout. Once there, Tennessee gave us the lowdown, how he'd been planning the bank heist that should have gone down in Cooper Lore as his masterpiece, only to have a mysterious new sheriff arrest him before he even reached the bank. Curiously, the robbery still occurred and all the bank's gold was stolen. Tennessee was charged even though he was already in prison and the gold was never recovered. Of course, he had a strong suspicion it was Sheriff Toothpick himself who had stolen the gold and framed him. And after a little research, there was no doubt he was right. Bentley was able to uncover plenty of information about the Sheriff. Although he changed his appearance somewhat, Toothpick was a two-bit gangster from present-day Eastern Europe. According to his file, he'd grown up loving two things, gold and cowboy movies. He eventually specialized in gold robberies, and for a while had masterminded some of the largest scores around the world. Then he abruptly vanished. The word was he had always thought of himself as a gunslinger, and it looked like he had found a way to make that a reality. The guy was a real loose cannon. We'd have to watch our backs if we were going to steal back the missing gold and restore Tennessee Kid Cooper's reputation as the greatest outlaw of the Old West. <laughs>